Hey guys, Anakin Nip here. Uh, this is my Minecraft folder on my C drive. Look, it's empty. Uh, I wanted to make a video. Um, a guy was asking how to use Schematica, and my Minecraft stopped working. So that's fun. So as you can see, it's building a new, a new launcher and everything. So I'm just gonna pop in my username and password. Okay, that's done. And all right, as you can see, so it already it's trying to download 1.10.2. Which is fine. Um, I'm playing a 1.10.2 survival world right now, but I don't think any of you will really want to be uh, seeing any of that. I'm going to put 1.8 so that Forge and everything works well. On the Java arguments, I'm going to go to 2 gig. You don't... This other information, this is garbage collection. This is um, to try and make Java efficiently use the RAM and get rid of uh, parts of memory that are no longer being used by the game. Java's not really good at cleaning itself up, but the new versions of Java are, so this is here sort of as a legacy thing, but it's, it's worth keeping. I usually change my res to 1920 by 1080. This is the res of the window, so that when I, f so that my windowed Minecraft is, is high def, but um, since I changed my graphics card, it's not as much of a problem, and I'm going to just go ahead and save my profile. Now when I hit play, it'll download me a fresh version of 1.8 into versions. There's the jar, the JSON. Uh, it's grabbing everything it needs, all the libraries, all the assets, that's what this information is. Okay, and we're in business. I believe you have to run it once before you can put any any mods in. So we're going to hit single player, create a world, Let's call it Anna's world. Oh my god, I have Minecraft music in my ears, it's really loud. I don't know if you can hear that on the video. Sorry if you can, I, I'm not keen on this. Okay, job one. Let's get rid of the audio, just, there we go, just for now. That, changing the audio there creates this. This is your options.txt. If you're playing sort of factions rather than survival, the first thing you want to do is put this to a thousand and save. And that's like having Fulbright on. It's not a hack, it's completely legal. Well, it is a hack, but it's completely legal. So, um, yeah, so now it's going to be Fulbright all the time, which I can't really show you because it's daytime and we're in survival mode. But trust me, you've got Fulbright on. Save and quit. Now, what we're gonna grab now is Forge. I'm really hoping I've got Forge. Okay, so here we are getting Forge. We're at files.minecraftforge.net. We want 1.8 even. And we'll take the recommended because then it's stable. I'm on Windows, so we're gonna take the Windows installer just to be lazy. And here we have the link. Now, if you don't want to have these ads running, you can copy the link location, paste it without going, take off the ad information right there, and there's your installer. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. And then we're gonna go ahead and run this. Let's go back to the desktop. So when you run the Forge installation, it'll give you this option to client, server, or extract. Um, we're just going to go client here. It's very easy. Keep an eye here. You'll see some changes. Um, well, you'll hopefully see some changes. Uh, I think it adds to the assets folder, and it also makes a folder called mods, but I don't know if mod mods appears until you run the game. Successful. Okay, that's hopeful. So now when we run the game, there's a few things popped and changed there. So now we have an option to edit profile again. And this time, we want to be playing Forge. And it always goes to the bottom of the list. So we're going to save this. We don't have a mods folder yet. When we run the game,
there's our mods folder. That's where Schematic is going to live. So that's really cool. This is your different loader. This is what happens when Forge loads. So now you have mods. Search, add, done. Okay. I think we can quit out now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my mods, which I've got in a folder here. Uh, some of these are legal, some of these aren't. So, um, Autofish, not a lot of server likes you using that. And MapWriter, some servers don't like you using that. So, don't use that on servers where you can't use it. So, we want the mod called Schematica. But this mod will not load without this Lunatris core. This, this is the dev, the dev uh, Lunatris. Now, his core runs his mods. One of his mods is Schematica. There's also Code Chicken Core, which runs Armor Status. Or does Bax Baker's code run Armor Status? Either way, we've got the three co cores. We've got Armor Status Direction HUD. No, Code Chicken runs um, not enough items, which I don't seem to have here. I'll chuck my auto fish in. Oh, there, there's not enough items. There's Optifine. Okay, so we've got our mods in here. Um, got all our mods. We're going to load the game. And this will take a while because it's got to run all these mods for the first time. So they're going to all be um, all be fresh. All right, let's um, let's add a server. Uh, I'll do for now. Okay, so this is a little Canon server I go on sometimes. Oh, this is like horrible because it's so fresh. Such a fresh install. All right, so this is. Not my plot, but it's my cannon. Whose plot am I on? Okay, plot home five. And that's blown up. Plot home four. Sorry, I need to do something about this uh, resolution here right now. Woof. Video settings. Uh, that's better. Oh gosh, yeah, that's that's way better. All right, so to use Schematica now, hopefully it's loaded, we press asterisk, and this gives us a red point. And there's the red point. And we move it down, and we can move it across. And we actually want it lower than that. So I'm just going to go down here, just really lazy. So we're going to make red point. I believe there's a way of shift click in this. Um, but, you know, screw it. This is the way I like to do it. And we go up here and we make a blue point. That encompasses the cannon. So then we'll save this. Asterix. Um, my cannon scan. And we'll click save. Now, if we press uh, forward slash, which is above 8 on your numeric keypad, you see my cannon scan. So if we want to load this, Sorry, we should reload this. Hang on. Off. All right. So now if I do my cannon scan, done, it loads our cannon schematic up here. Um, if we press it again and we do to open the schematics folder, as you can see, it's in your roaming folder where we were earlier. Now, this folder schematics isn't here until you make a schematic or until you type it in yourself. So there's your schematic. Now, if you download a schematic from my YouTube or one of your friends give it you, um, you just put it into this folder and then it loads. Um, so you just go to your C users, whatever your name is, app data roaming Minecraft, my cannon schematic, or you open it this way 
you copy and paste it from your downloads, your desktop, wherever you saved it, you put it in here, and then you load it. Um, there are some servers like this one where you can upload your schematic to the server, but it's a custom, it's a custom thing, so I, I don't really know how scam works on here. Uh, you are lacking the information world edit slash scam shop. So this guy will give you so many, oh gosh, that's not nice, is it? Hang on, uh, hide, there we go. So this guy will give you, um, you know, when you do slash schematic, give you all the things you're gonna need. And so slash scam shop saves, so this will save and upload your schematics, but this is this is this one guy's server, this is, this is not typical. So yeah, hopefully that helps everybody learn how to load schematic. How do I get my armor off? Why have you even got armor on? It's creative. What the hell? Yeah, I haven't played for Ohio, guys. I've not really been feeling good. But yeah, so that's a little bit about schematic and setting up Forge and setting up your mods. Um, yeah, I've now got to go and fix my Minecraft because I really broke it. I don't even have my texture pack right now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.